In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a table and a chart. To create a table, go to the left hand side menu and click table. By default, it will create a two by two table, which means you have two rows and two columns. You can certainly add more number of columns or more number of uh, rows to this table by clicking these uh, buttons here on the context panel. Now for the data, I'm going to type A, 10, and B, 20. You can use the arrow keys on your keypad to navigate these cells. And also you can hit tab. Now to get out of the table, use the arrow keys on your keypad. Then you can go to this point where the cursor is blinking, where you can start typing in more text. I'll say this is where a chart is going to be added. Now let's add a chart. So to add a chart, you go in, go to the left hand side menu and click charts. And if you click chart, you'll see the properties of the chart on the right hand side menu where you specify the name of the chart. I'll say sample chart. Now select a chart type. Chart type can be bar, pie, donut, line, polar area, scatter, or function. Now for this demo, I'll select pie. Now it's, it's asking for table, which means data source. So for table, I'll select table one. We only have one table here. So I'll select table one. Now, oh, let's go back here. Now for data row, it's asking for uh, asking us to pick a data row, I'll select column two for data row, and for label row, I will select column one. As you can see, the chart is uh, updated with the table data. Now, as you update the chart, uh, as you update the table, you can see how the chart is getting updated. If you do a preview, you should be able to do the same thing. And you can change A to apples and B to say bananas. Now, if you don't want your users to update these cells, any of these cells, you can always lock them. So let's do that. So let's lock this cell and this cell. And I'm going to highlight this cell so they know that this is an input. Now let's go back. And your users won't be able to touch this. They won't be able to uh, edit this, but they'll be able to edit the data. There. So this is how you add a chart and a table.